Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from EasyJoomlaTutorials.com. Um, today I just want to make a quick video about creating a hidden menu system. Quite often uh, you'll want to create um, some content on the website but not actually have it directly linkable in your menu. So you might be sending out a, a, an email um, newsletter and you want to link to a page but that page can only be accessible directly by the URL. Um, but you may also want to assign modules to this page and uh, actually have it completely functioning like it is a part of the menu system but it's not directly accessible. So the first thing we have to start with is creating a new menu to um, basically store this page. So I've just gone into the menu manager here and we want to create a new menu. Now we'll call this menu hidden just because that's exactly what it's going to be. It won't be displaying... Oh, you've got to enter a module title for your menu, uh, so this will be hidden as well. Um, is that going to let me save? Yes, it will. Okay, so now we've got our hidden menu. Um, so now we'll just quickly create some content that we don't want to, to actually display. So I'll just do this very quickly. We'll just put this in the uncategorized section. So here's just a bit of secret content on a hidden page. Now we go back into our menu system, into the hidden menu that we've just created. And we're going to just follow the exact same process that we did before um, to add just content to a menu item. So we add a new article and it's going to be an article layout so we just see a regular page of content. Uh, we give this a name so a secret page and we want to select the hidden page article that we just created which doesn't have a section or category and it's that simple. Now we just click apply and our page has been created. So now if we refresh our home page, you can see that this hidden page hasn't actually shown up in the main menu um, because it's part of the hidden menu. So how do we get to this secret page now? Well we can see that Joomla has given us a URL here. So we copy this URL and we can also see that it has an ID of 5. Now this is the item ID of this page. So now we just go to our actual website, we paste this URL, and then we manually type in an item, make sure it's got a capital I, item ID equals 5. Now if we go to this page, we can see the title, the hidden page, the hidden page, it's got secret content, and now if we wanted to send that link directly out through our email or directly to someone, um, on chat or something, um, we can have a hidden page basically. Now to, to basically show you why it was important to add this to a hidden menu item, it comes back to the idea of adding modules. So you might remember in one of our other tutorials I showed you a basic module that we turned on just for our home page. So this was the test module. Now when we look at the pages we can turn this on, we now see there's also a hidden menu option and here's our secret page. So now we can also select this secret page, click save and now we should also have a module appearing in this right position. And this is to show you the importance of actually having, this, uh, having a page assigned to a, a menu system. If I was to get rid of this item ID 5, you can see the module is not going to show anymore. Um, it's this assigning of content to uh, um, a menu system that actually makes it a unique page and that's what Joomla uses to apply its module positions. Um, so that's how simple it is to add some hidden content to a hidden menu.